Okay, so this is my uh, PV Triple X. Um, I got it recently, a few months ago, like in a trade for a cab. This was actually, obviously, not this exact one, but this is actually like the first uh, proper head I ever owned. Um, and and uh, yeah, it's actually I used it on like a lot of our early recordings, and uh, it's still like one of my favorite amplifiers. Like the mid range is so like even across the board. And uh, I just wanted to get my hands on one again, just for like recording and stuff. Um, you can pick them up super cheap, like three hundred pounds or something. Now, um, I know they don't make this uh, exact model anymore. They do like an updated version, which I haven't tried yet. But um, yeah, one of my favorite heads. So yeah, check it out. Right, so I'm going to start out on the uh, Crunch Channel with uh, like a heavy tone that I'd use. Um, I'm not going to make people wait through the clean stuff, everyone wants to hear the heavy sounds. Um, so yeah, it, it says crunch channel, but I wouldn't describe it as like a crunch tone, it just sounds like a full blown heavy sound. If you can't quite see, the gain is pointing that way. Um, I guess you'd call that 4 if we're talking about 1 to 10, uh, not 4 o'clock. And yeah, it's got tons of gain. Um, but yeah, I, I just love like the mids on this, like everything's like so even, there's nothing like too pokey sounding. And I'm running through a orange cab with just a 57 on it. Uh, so yeah, here's how it sounds with the gain there, uh, completely unboosted. So I'm going to kick in uh, the Maxon OD808 pedal, I'm going to back the gain down even more so it's barely on, we're talking about like, it's on like 2 or something now, that's how it sounds. I mean that's still a ton of gain, um, I'm going to back it down even more and now I'm kicking in the uh, overdrive. Uh, it really depends on the sort of uh, tone you like, but it is really tight sounding without the maxing on, um, and there's still like a good amount of gain on the head. So I, you know, it depends what mood I'm in. Sometimes I'll use a boost. Sometimes I feel I don't need to. It depends on the tuning you're in, what pickups you're using, what kind of riffs or chords you're you're playing. So uh, yeah, so here's some more sounds just on the crunch channel. This is still um, completely unboosted. I mean, basically, with everything just set at the halfway point, it still sounds like really cool. Like, you could still get a really usable sound just out of that. Um, for me, like I said before, like the mids on this amp are so good. Like, they're so even and smooth and full. Um, you know, it, it's always useful to like have a bit more mids in your tone than to have too little because if you need to add any if sorry if you need to take mids out it's not too much of a problem and uh, but when you try and add mid range in like a mid range kind of attack and like coming from the pick and that kind of full bodiedness it's really hard to just EQ that back into the tone so um 
yeah, really great mids on this. Uh, probably wouldn't have them quite that high because uh, it's quite a midi, mid rangey sounding head as it is. And that's pretty much kind of the settings I'd have out. Again, this is just unboosted. Kicking the max in again. Right, so I'll switch over to the um, the lead channel, or I guess it's called the ultra channel, um, which has, I guess, even more gain, which is crazy because there's tons of gain on this head. So I'll, I'll switch over to it now. Um, similar kind of sayings. Um, at the halfway point, I'd say there's way too much gain. Um, but you know it's good to know you've got it if you need it. So I just back it way off. Again, completely unboosted. For me, I think the Ultra Channel probably requires like a boost a little more than the Crunch Channel. It just I I prefer it with like a bit more of a tightening up kind of tone for coming from the Maxim pedal. So I'll switch that on. Uh, again, I probably wouldn't have the EQ quite like that. I'll start messing around with it now so you can hear. Right, so I'll switch over to the clean channel now. Um, I'd say it's like a really good, really clean, uh, clean channel compared to like the 6505, uh, 5150. It's uh, just a lot cleaner. Um, so yeah, here's how it sounds. Um, so that was completely, uh, obviously unboosted, no delay, no reverb, uh, no compressor pedal, and yeah, that's the head.